there are a lot of things in the NFL that are difficult to do, but also at the same time, it's not work because you, if, if you're like me, you're doing something you love. It's difficult. It's very difficult. It's a lot of, there's a lot of stress. Um, I don't think that it's any, it's any more difficult sometimes than a lot of other jobs, a lot of other competitive jobs. Like I imagine being a Wall Street broker is largely like what it is in the NFL. Guys are getting fired every day. Guys are losing their jobs every day. One mistake can lead to you never playing football again. One injury can lead to you never playing football again, as well as like in Wall Street, one bad decision, one bad trade, and hey, all your money's gone. I think the personal expectations, uh, obviously uh, the competitiveness of the National Football League is such that it takes your level of competitiveness even higher because, I mean, you're competing with guys who were the cream of the crop, you know, who were the best guys at their colleges, wherever they, wherever that may be from. And so, you know, every day is, is, is a competition. Every day, every day in practice is difficult. Every day, every guy in the NFL is good. And so what separates the guys that are great and what separates the guys that don't last is, is not as much as would in high school or in college. So it really calls you to, to always stay up on, you know, whatever system you're in, your physical attributes, your technique, all these kinds of things, it, it really pushes you and forces you, and therefore your expectations go that much higher, and you expect to pick up things faster, to be that much stronger faster, to play that much faster, to your technique to be that much more crisp. So I think definitely the NFL, my expectations personally, have jumped three, four-fold than what I think I would have regularly expected of myself in college. I played for three football teams in the National Football League. I, I first Played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I was released from Jacksonville. I got picked up by the Carolina Panthers. Went through training camp and the majority of, of last season with the Carolina Panthers. Great football team. Loved them to death. Uh, loved the coaches, loved all the players. You know, it was really a fun experience. Uh, much starkly different from Jacksonville. And then uh, I, I got released from Carolina and I was in Buffalo for a couple weeks. Uh, that was a very tumultuous time in that organization because the head coach, Dick Duran, had been fired the week I got signed. So they, you know, they brought in, they made the defensive coordinator the interim head coach last two weeks of the season. Guys aren't really sure what's going on. Uh, shared the locker room with, you know, one of the media icons in the NFL, Terrell, Terrell Owens, great guy. Um, but that whole situation, everybody was kind of like, we're way out of a playoff spot. Nobody's really competing. Everybody's kind of just, just playing and hoping that, you know, whatever they do in these two weeks, secure them a job in the next regime.